Hello and welcome back to the Midterm Rental Mastery Show. My name is Tanisha Epps and I am a real estate investor based in Richmond, Virginia or the surrounding areas. And today on this channel, we're going to talk about background checks. Now, this does not just apply to midterm rentals, right? You could use background checks for long-term rentals. You can use them for short-term rentals if you choose. Most people don't do background checks on short-term rentals. Long-term and midterm is usually the ones that require the background checks. If you choose to do them, just know you don't have to. It's a personal choice as an operator, um, but I'm going to talk about a few of the scenarios where I do background checks, and then I'm going to walk you through the service that I use on background checks. I really love the service. It's really easy to use, and at this point, I can probably get through a background check request on that site in less than 30 seconds because they make it so easy. So um let's start talking about background checks so first should you do a background check should you not do a background check so let's talk about who may be staying with you of course a lot of people talk about travel medical professionals did you know that on their job they're actually required to do a background check before they can even get hired so then you have to decide do you need to do a separate background check for them or is the background check that the company did enough for you now can you get access to that? Maybe you'd have to ask your guest if the recruiter can give them the background check to give to you. Usually that's a no that I've gotten in the past. I think I've maybe gotten that one time. Um, otherwise, I just do my own background check because two things. First, the apartment community that I actually do most of my travel medical housing in, they require background checks. I was able to negotiate with them to let me do the background check instead of them doing it because I didn't want to ask people for their social security number, their that level of personal information. So the service that I use actually makes it so that I don't have to do that, which is great. That's the part I love the most about it. And so I do those background checks because I can't get access to them. Um, my insurance guests, I do background checks on all adults and Sometimes I get requests for three, four, five, six adults in a house. And at the end of the day, it's my job to protect the community uh, that these properties are in, especially if they're in an HOA, which I think I only have two properties in HOAs and the HOAs are pretty cool. I double checked that beforehand. So um, again, I do background checks on all adults. Now, if they're coming from a company, Again, most companies require somebody to do a background check before they get hired, but it may have been a while. So it's totally up to you if you choose to do a background check or not. Some of the things that you would be looking for on a background check, and it's just me, you're going to be looking for criminal history. Some people look at credit and evictions. I don't look at that, but so much. But again, it all depends on where the person's money is coming from because that could make a potential difference for you. So just keep that in mind, because if you don't know where their money's coming from, you may decide that you want to do a deeper check and look a little more closely at the reports that you get. But again, it's totally your choice. So the service that I use for background checks is called Rent Prep. And one of the main reasons that I like Rent Prep, again, I told you it's super, super easy. It is a transunion um pull for using smart move and you'll see where I'm going to show you kind of a quick walkthrough of how the site works and I will leave a link down in the description of this video that you can just click on and get straight over to um, rent prep now I will say that I do have an affiliate link with them I'm very excited that they chose me to participate in their program so I may get you know a couple dollars if you choose to do a background check through them totally up to you the link is in the description. You do it with you will. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen really quickly and I'm going to walk you through the rent prep service. And again, I'm going to show you kind of the things that I like about it the most and um, do just a really quick run through. Okay. So pay no attention to the fact that I have like a million things on my screen because my partner, my business partner yells at me. I not really yells, but he kind of gets on me a lot. I'm going to stop the screen and I'm going to start over. He gets on me a lot about having opened a lot of windows. 
don't anybody please tell Pace that I had like a thousand windows open when you saw it because, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of bad. So let's try this again. Okay, that's better. So we're going to look at rent prep. So you'll see yours may look a little bit different from mine, but you've got a dashboard, you have your properties, you have a list of orders that you may have done at some point. So what I want to walk you through first piece is um, the property board. So you'll see that I have my property names here. I'm going to blur out if they're not already blurred out um, the addresses for the properties. And um, you can actually create a property name and a list. And so what happens after you add the new property here, you can choose that property and all the information about it automatically goes into that background check for that particular property when you're ready to send it out to a client. So on the dashboard, and it, it was a little slow. I think it's just my internet, but so on the dashboard is the main page. And on the main page, as soon as it gets over there, you'll see where it has the ability to do a new order, information about your properties. If you're not sure how to make an order, you can use the how to order. And at the bottom of the page, it'll show you all the recent um, background checks that you've done. So we're gonna go on and place a new order. Sorry, I had to, thought somebody was at my front door, but they're not. So. As of the recording of this video, the price of the full report is $40. This is subject to change. I do not work for this company and I do not control their pricing. What I do know is another thing I love about this one so much and I will show you is I don't pay for the background checks. I send them straight on to the guest. So in the full report, you get their credit report, a resident score and a rental background check. So it will show you history of evictions. Um, it will pull their social security number to verify it, but you don't have to be the one to ask them for their social. Because again, I used to be a traveler. I wasn't given anybody my social security number. That just wasn't happen. You'll get criminal and sex offender searches in some states. Now, not every state gives you all the same information, by the way. So depending on what state you're in or the property is in or wherever you're running the report, you may get different items that are available to you. And again, that is just a state thing that has nothing to do with the rent prep service. And you'll see again, there's a whole list here of the states that um, they don't include the you know, nationwide criminal search because it's a state requirement. Now, you do have just the background check piece, which is at this point in time, $21. But it doesn't give you as much information as the full report. And here's the other thing. On this report, you have to ask the person for their personal information, like their social security number. You cannot send it to the person to run the report themselves, and then you just get the results. That's the piece I love the most about Rent Prep. So I don't personally use this one. You know, you could use it for long-term rentals. So if you have some long-term rentals and you just want to keep using the same service, great. But for midterm, I only, only do the, um, the $40 report, okay? So... Let's go through what that report would look like if we were going to order a report. Um, I may have one already here, so let's just double check. Oh, I do. I have one already in, in here. So um, let's go to delete this one and we'll start over. So on the dashboard, I'm just going to go to order a new report. So we're going to place a new order here. Okay, we're going to do order now. Okay, so again, I told you I can name my properties and then I can pick which one. So we're going to just do this one just for fun. And then I'm going to enter an email address. Okay, so let's just pick a random email. I do... Um, not want to decline people for bankruptcies. I don't personally care because again, I know where their money's coming from. So I'm not really concerned about that. You can add on judgments and liens and income verification. Again, those are things that I don't look for in a midterm rental. So I'm not overly concerned about them, but you're welcome to add them if you wish. Okay. So it gives the property address, the landlord information, the tenant is on the side. And then um, it tells you that you're getting the credit report bundle. So I'm going to add this to my cart. And then I'm making sure that it's correct. So I'm going to check out. Now, this part is where you can choose who is going to be the person to pay for the report, the renter or the landlord. I always, always choose renter because I'm not paying for it. Okay. 
So then it gives you the user conditions, et cetera, the email that it's going to go to. You hit agree and then you, or it's already, I agree. Then you hit submit. Now, I'm not going to submit this right now because I don't want to send it to myself, even though I could. And it doesn't matter because they only get charged if they enter the actual information. Okay. So the cool part about this is the minute that the person opens the report or gets access to it, it will tell you. And then as soon as it's completed, it will also send you an email back to whichever email you have on file for this um, for this account. And you will get a full report of, again, depending on which one you choose, you'll get a full report of all the information about the guests. The things that I'm looking for is, again, if it's in a state that does a criminal background search, I'm looking at that information because I'm looking at who am I bringing into the neighborhood. If I'm looking at, you know, things about their ability to pay, et cetera, you can do those things. Make your best judgment about what that tells you. I'm not going to get into that um, because it's your choice. But again, rent prep is a really, really great service. So it and it's so easy to use. Now, I know some people would be like, oh, well, I want to use something that's built into a software already. Well, you can do that. But again, I like this one because it's super easy just to send it over to the guests. So let's say, for example, you have a request on Airbnb. Did you know that on Airbnb, if you want to do a background check, just put it in your house rules. It's super easy. I always ask for people for their email address in the request on Airbnb and they give it to me and I get it and I send them the background check report. They already know a background check is required. So it's not like it's news because if they actually read the house rules, it's right there. And in my automated messaging, I remind them again that a background check is required to book the property. Mm, I was going to say nobody gave me pushback, but only one person I think in the entire time that I've been doing this actually gave me any pushback and they chose not to stay and I had a backup. So it was awesome. So again, rent prep is the service that I use for background checks. Make your best decision. Think about what information are you looking for? Um, why would you want a background check? Why would you not run a background check? And then you make your decision. Again, you are the person running the property. You are the host. You are the owner if it's your property that you own and you are managing it if it is an arbitrage, especially if it's an arbitrage. You really might want to consider doing background checks. But again, that's up to you. So... I thank you everyone for continuing to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'm going to continue to do more videos about the questions that I'm being asked um, in the comments. I actually read all of them and I do also respond. Sometimes it takes me a little while to get to them all, but I do respond. And um, as I mentioned before, I can't wait to go over with everybody the property that I just purchased on creative finance and it was a subject to with a below 4% interest rate in Fayetteville, North Carolina, super awesome property. My designer actually just contacted me and let me know that we have our furniture order being finalized today. Um, I don't live in North Carolina, so it's really cool to hire people to do what they do best. Something we're going to talk about on another video. So, Again, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate you watching and until next time.